Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Just out here uh, doing a little hike today using my uh, Helicontex Matilda pack out testing it out. And uh, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and check out or uh, take out my uh, U.S. Army uh, shelter half that you see above me here. Um, it's been a long time since I set this up, so it took me a little bit to, to kind of finagle it and get it set up right. And I like this setup a lot. I'm going to try a, uh, an overnighter in this setup, I think pretty soon because I like how it has the sides on it but anyway it's still a little a little flimsy I guess you could say on the sides and whatnot just because these trees are close and I didn't stretch it out as far as it could but no big deal but anyway so like I said I here today just doing some videos and um, I think what I'm gonna do today um, several things but first um, well I got a new nomadic box so we're gonna do that you'll see that in another video and um, but I found this shovel head out here in the woods um, I don't know probably about a year ago and um, I took it home and I cleaned it up a little bit and you know whatnot so I think what I'm gonna do is make a handle for this thing and uh, use it for down here at camp just kind of leave it down here at my camp and I think I make a great shovel so and then I took it home obviously and I, I drilled out the hole a little bit there and put a a bigger screw in there with a wing nut so it'll be a little bit easier so I think that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna fashion a, um, a handle for this and uh, some other things so y'all stay tuned I'm gonna get some coffee going on the uh, emberlit stove here a little fire in I was gonna make a little fire but I think I'm just gonna do uh, just my little emberlit stove and um, I'll do that so y'all stick around and I'll be right back in just a few minutes thanks for watching So I come up here, I found a little stand of trees here, small little cluster, I believe these are oaks. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't need something really big, so round, so I think I'm going to cut this one right here. I'm going to cut it down and, and uh, see if it'll work. So i got to get some of these briars and stuff out of the way so I can get back there, but so we'll do that. Gonna use this folding saw from Alpha Alpha Boats box. So I got my stick, pole, handle I should say, cut down. A standard shovel length is like 36 inches long and um, this one here, got my handy dandy measuring tape, this that I cut is about 46. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about 10, well I'm going to cut about a foot off of it. Because I don't want it standard length. I'm going a little bit shorter than standard length. I uh, just I think it'd be easier to work with down here at camp. So but I gotta I have to allow for you know it to stick in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about 10 inches. Actually I'm gonna cut I think I'm gonna cut a foot off of it. I'm gonna cut it down to 36. And then when I stick it into the handle or to the shovel itself, that's about six inches. So that'll give me about a 30 inch uh, handle length. I think that'll be a good size uh, for down here at camp. So let me cut this up and uh, I'll be right back with you and we'll go from there. All right, so I got it cut down. This is the piece I cut off. We'll probably use it for something here around camp. So and here's the shovel. So what I need to do now is just trim it down some so it can fit in here. So I'm thinking about stripping this. Um, I'm thinking about stripping this wood and then allowing it to dry because I think it's going to shrink obviously when it dries so I don't know I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this together and do a makeshift one and then later on if it starts to drying or whatnot I think we can we can fix that so maybe I'll just kind of get it in here pretty tight and allow for some shrinkage when it dries so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip the bark 
I think, get some of these knots and stuff out of it. We'll go from there. Well, pretty much got it all stripped down. I tell you, I've been using the, the back of my Geotech here. Man, that works great. I started out using the, the blade just to start shaving it off, and I was like, why are you not using the spine of that knife? Um, so I started using the spine, and man, this thing, <laughs> it does really well. So save your blade, folks. Use the spine of your knife to uh, shave off stuff. So, so what I did then, I just kind of chamfered off the end there. This will be the top end, and then the bottom end here, it'll fit in here now. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is shave off just a little bit more and get a pretty good friction fit in there. And then obviously I'll have to drill a hole uh, in here because I don't have a, a bit and brace or anything like that. So I'll have to drill a hole in here when I get back home. And um, I think I'm going to take some sandpaper to this and sand it down and then just let it dry. And then uh, once it dries out, I don't know, I'll give it a week or two to dry, maybe longer, I don't know. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back and look at the finished product once I, uh, I get it done. So, anyway, been a quick little, quick little project for you, or for me, I guess. So, uh, y'all stay with me, uh, and I'll show you the finished product once it's done. Thanks for watching. Well, here's the finished product. I saved you the... Um, hassle of watching me sand it down and and all that stuff but um, it turned out really good I think I've got about four coats of linseed oil on the handle and it's been about three weeks so it's dried I think pretty much the only thing at, at, during the drying process it did um, start to warp just a little bit but I just turned that on this side you can kind of see just a hair uh, it warped just a little bit, but that's okay because I just turned that. I think it kind of gives it more of an ergonomic uh, handle anyway. But um, yeah, so that was it. Um, you know, like I said, it probably could use a little bit more drying time, but um, I think it's just fine for what it is, and I think it's going to work great for what it is. I mean, so far it's worked really well. You can see right here, it did shrink a little bit, which is what I figured to begin with. So, um, but yeah. It's going to make a great little shovel down at camp or, um, you know, put it in my truck as well. So more than likely it'll stay down at camp for the most part. But anyway, thanks for watching this uh, quick uh, quick little video, taking a, an old shovel head that I found and uh, making a new handle for it. You know, this is another skill that, you know, it's getting to be kind of a lost art. You know, yeah, I know this is not perfect by no means. Uh, I mean, I'm not a, I am definitely not a, um, a furniture maker or anything like that. So, uh. But yeah, I think I did a decent job, like I said, for what it is. So anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you on another video real soon. Always remember PPE, plan, prepare, and exercise, and always make sure you have the necessary skills to survive. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Click that little bell button down below. Y'all have a great day.